What's up guys, Peter Von Panda here. I'm actually in uh, Union Station in Chicago. I'm kind of busting a move to my Amtrak train. I'm gonna take a little trip from Chicago to Detroit on the Wolverine line. So uh, I wanted to take you along and show it to you. One of the things that I wanted to point out is I'm actually traveling business class. So I wanted to give you a little look at what the 20 or $30 upgrade will typically look like. Uh, but uh, sometimes it's up to 80 bucks. So let's take a look. The business class car in this train was directly behind the locomotive. The rear of the car was the dining car with the tables and benches where you can sit and eat. The center was the cafe where they sell the drinks, sandwiches, and snacks. Uh, and you pass through a curtain divider to enter the business class seating section. In that section, there are three chairs in each row. The left side has two seats and the right side has an individual seat. The seating is first come first served, so there's no assigned seating. So if you're traveling alone, you may want to get there early to get the individual seat, or if you're traveling with a friend, you may want to get there early to get the pair of seats. There are parcel shelves above each of the seats on each side, which are large enough to handle your luggage, and make it easy to access and retrieve your items throughout your trip. There are also reading lights mounted underneath so that you can have personal lighting. There are no air vents like there are on airlines. There are usually two standard electrical outlets in each row, so you should be able to charge your electronics at your chair. Some of the windows have dark curtains, which slide back and forth, which are nice to block out the sun. One thing to note is that the front row seats do not have tray tables. Since the tray tables fold down from the seat in front of you, if you get the seats in the front directly behind the bulkhead, you'll have to keep your drinks in the center console if you're in the dual seats, or in your hand, or in your lap in the single seat. It'd be nice if there was a fold-out tray from the armrest, but there wasn't on my train. Uh, this might be important, so if you're planning on working on a laptop or watching a lot of movies or doing any other type of work in your seat, you may want to get there early to get a seat farther back in the coach. The advantage of these seats, though, is that there's a tremendous amount of legroom. I couldn't even touch the bulkhead with my feet, so if you're really tall, then this might actually be a good trade-off for you. The seats are nice and not really any bigger than the rest of the Amtrak seats, but these were burgundy leather instead of the standard blue cloth seats. The controls for the seats are on the right armrest. Uh, the rearward switch allows the seats to recline. They do recline quite far and much farther than most normal airline seats. Unless you're going to go to sleep, they almost recline too far. And about halfway back in the maximum recline position is a, usually a nice pitch to relax, nap, and actually be very, very comfortable. There is a leg rest, like an ottoman that pulls out from underneath your seat cushion. This provides support for your legs underneath your calves. If you pull the forward lever on the right armrest, that will release the leg rest and it'll go back down into underneath your chair. If you're in a row with the seat in front of you, there's also a metal foot rest that folds down from the seat in front of you so that you can support your legs and feet at the same time, which makes napping even that much more comfortable. The cafe attendant walked through the business class section at the beginning of our trip, offering each person a newspaper. She also explained that your ticket includes one non-alcoholic beverage, as well as coffee. It's on the honor system, so you just have to tell the attendant that you're a business class passenger when you go to the cafe. There was also free Wi-Fi on my train. It may not be available for all passengers, but it was a nice feature, so I didn't have to tether my iPad to my iPhone. The initial connection process to the network takes a little while, and I actually thought that the uh, login screen had frozen, but it didn't. Uh, and once it was connected, the speed was pretty decent, probably around 4G cellular speeds. The speed definitely slowed in rural areas, and a couple times I wasn't even able to connect, uh, even though I was still getting the Wi-Fi signal. But it worked well for email and surfing pretty reliably throughout the trip. I did notice that I couldn't download videos or app updates through the Apple uh, iOS store through the Wi-Fi network though, so I think some traffic is blocked. One of the drawbacks of the business class section is that you're in the train car directly behind the locomotive, so you could be subject to more engine noise than passengers further back or in the coach section. In addition, you also get most of the train horn noise, which is usually limited to the populated areas, especially when they're going through a lot of train crossings. Uh, neither sound were particularly offensive to me, but it's a consideration if you like it really quiet. Lastly, the price of the upgrade over a coach seat varies with how long in advance you book and your uh, specific route. I booked my trip over a month in advance, and the upgrade was about $30 more than the $50 standard ticket, so all in all, I was about $80. I think the upgrade was definitely worth it for my trip. However, I have seen the same trip upgrade charge uh, climb to as much as $90 for the business class seat. So it can definitely vary with the time. So you definitely want to check it out and determine if the value is there for you. 
Generally, you'll have access to the business class and sleeper car only Metropolitan Lounge, which is in some of the Amtrak stations, including Chicago. So if you have a layover or a long wait at a station with a Metropolitan Lounge, the upgrade might definitely be worth it. Uh, you get some snacks and kind of a, a private sitting area in those uh, Metropolitan Lounges. For medium hauls, I've used Amtrak a lot and generally like it. I've noticed that on-time performance is pretty spotty with Amtrak, so you need to be a little bit flexible in your departure and arrival times. I bought travel insurance uh, on one of my trips with Amtrak that did cover major delays, and I actually did use it on that trip. But in terms of convenience, price, and comfort, I found that it's a great option for trips in the 300 to 500 mile range, and certainly beats the time that it would take you to go through airport security and fly and then get um, a ride back from an airport. All in all, the Amtrak Business Class was a pretty nice experience. Peter Von Panda, out!